Hey Taurus, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here reading for you guys for this week in July. I hope everyone is doing okay. So guys, I just channeled into your energy. Someone doesn't want to let you go, all right? So I'm getting something like a, a public altercation or something like that. If it wasn't public, it was definitely social networking, okay? All right, so for you Taurus, I'm getting like someone is like, they realize how they feel for you after you reject them, okay? So it's going to be you or your person feeling this way. I'm going to get some energy for you guys. What's going on with Taurus? Yeah, someone definitely like feels rejected by you. Or they feel like you won't accept them back. They feel like it's a lost cause. Alright, Taurus. Holy Spirit and Angels, what's going on with Taurus? Transformation. I feel like you guys are changing here. There's definitely an ending here. Embrace, embracing an ending. We also have firm foundation here at the bottom. So it gives me vibes that you guys are definitely moving. Or just being more patient. Grounding yourself. What else for Taurus, Holy Spirit, and Angels? What else for Taurus, Holy Spirit, and Angels? Yeah, positive movement forward and intuition. I feel like your intuition is letting you know that something here is not right. I feel like we're going to be moving forward here. Someone here feels like um, if you have some sort of telepathic connection to someone, someone here feels you moving away. They feel you moving away. They feel you transforming. So it's like, it's like they feel like this is a done deal, that they can't come back, okay? Yeah, we have stand your ground here. You're definitely going to stand your ground to this person. They know, they know that they know that they know that you're never going to accept them back. And then we have destiny here. You guys are moving on to your destiny. I feel like you guys already know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Weighty game is here. So there could be some sort of um, patience being involved when it comes to moving forward. Yeah, there's some sort of obstacles and challenges when it comes to moving on to the person that you really want, Taurus. Or this could be your person. So we have soulmate energy in this reading. All right. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. <clears throat> Why is transformation here for Taurus? Transformation for Taurus. All right, so we have sun empowerment, strength, and then we have third eye. You guys' uh, intuition is on point right now. You guys see things differently. That's why you're transforming. Spiritually growing up, I feel like uh, nothing can hurt you anymore, too. It's just like you guys know better. Yeah, we have action here at the bottom with beginnings. You guys are um, very passionate about starting something new here. Clarify intuition. Why is intuition here for Taurus? Intuition for Taurus. Whispering angels. Yeah, we have closed off, guarded, and resistance. This person knows that you're definitely moving on and you're closed off from them. Um, also feeling like your intuition is telling you that you have to close your, your energy off from them. Clarify. Positive movement forward. For Taurus. You guys are definitely getting something positive in your life. Twin flames. Ooh. Why did that come out again? So it seems like all the twin flames are going through some sort of karma again. Um... You guys are definitely learning from this twin flame situation if you do have a twin flame if not a lot of you are going to be heading in or finally meeting your twin flame clarify karma for taurus someone is getting their karma here you have messages here what receive so as soon as you move away someone here notices that you're the one for them that's what i'm getting here but they're receiving a lot of karma they can't get to you in the 3D realm. Telepathically, they can't get to you. They can't get to you through your dreams or anything like that. You guys could be doing protection spells, uh, meditation. But yeah, this is a twin flame that can't get to you anymore. Clarify, stand your ground for Taurus. Stand your ground for Taurus. Yes, we have masculine. Alchemy, ancestor guides. So, for some of you, this masculine is waking up and standing his ground. For others of you, 
you might have to stand your ground to a mask one. Clarify this. Why is that here? The Taurus. All right, so we have a few things. We have guilt, sabotage, Pluto, transformation. And then we have decisions here. This person made a wrong decision. They chose a wrong path. They feel guilty for that. They didn't expect you to, like, transform from that. I guess they expect you to stay the same. Yeah, they expected you to stay the same. Or something like that. Because I'm really getting that um, they can't come back anymore. And they know this. And they feel guilty about what they've done. Clarify destiny. Word for us. <clears throat> yeah, regret. Then we have control tactics in the reverse. I feel like this person tried to control you in your situation. They feel regretful for that. This type of person, they'll drink a lot too. Instead of saying sorry, they'll try to control people around them. It wasn't working. They couldn't get in the way of your destiny, and that's why they feel some type of way about it. Clarify the waiting game for Taurus. Waiting game for Taurus, Holy Spirit, and Angels. Shadow work. Action, beginnings, and stability. Harmony, flow. So you guys could actually be um, doing shadow work right now. And I feel like that's what everyone is doing as of right now, considering that we are in the season of cancer, where everyone seems to get emotional around this time. Um, things about their home life emotionally will come up out of nowhere, especially when it comes to uh, childhood memories. But I feel like what you're doing here is that spirit is trying to, like, they're trying to, like, pull you back so that you can spring forward, if that means anything to you guys. If you guys are getting setbacks right now, it's like spirit pulling you back to spring you forward to something else. I'm also getting that you doing your shadow work is giving you a lot of stability inwardly, like within yourself, and a lot of harmony. Okay. Yeah, you're starting to see that this is not what you wanted in a person. This person is not harmonious at all. They don't even let you work or focus on anything, Taurus, so... I just been getting that energy lately, so let's see. Okay, Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the energy right now around Taurus? All right, so we have the Emperor here and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is trying to control your work or control your progress or critique your work, like something like that. It's weird. Someone's all up in your energy right now. What's the energy right now for Taurus? Holy Spirit Angels. Energy right now for Taurus. Also getting that you guys are very stubborn towards this person. You're not letting them come back around. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups here in the reverse. No reconciliation for this person. Two of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the Page of uh, Pentacles here. This person is like at a distance from you, but like they give small offers. Also, with the two of wands in reverse, I'm getting that someone chose something wrong. They chose, like, the wrong party. This person likes to party a lot. What else for Scorpio? Thank you. Five of Cups. And the Eight of Swords. They're stuck in their head now, and they're stuck in a lot of regret. If they're in a third party, it's like they're stuck in that third party. It's like they're stuck in that world now. They can't leave it. They're actually afraid to leave it, to be honest with you. It's like a comfort zone for them, but at the same time, they're very regretful. And they're all in their head about it, too. All right. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Clarify the Five of Cups, please, for Taurus. The Empress and the Page of Cups. This person really wants to apologize to you. That's your energy, Taurus, the Empress. They see that you're loving yourself, though. And that's what's really having them in some sort of regretful um, state right now. Very regretful state. A very bad state that they're in too. Um, they wanted you to juggle your finances or juggle your legacy or juggle some sort of like cash flow but that's not you. 
juggle your family life or juggle a commitment or something like that. All right. Clarify the page of cups. This person is still going to try to like invite you out. Yeah, but the three of swords in the reverse, you've healed. You've healed from this. You no longer want to deal with this person. In fact, you love loving yourself right now. Clarify the Empress. Please, for Taurus. Two of Swords. Okay, we have a lot of cards that came out. Let's see. So we have the Two of Swords here. You don't see them. You don't even see them. I feel like a lot of you could be like, um, numb from the pain that they put you through. We have Temperance here. That's also Patience and Healing with the Seven of Pentacles. You guys are investing slowly but surely, okay? You're analyzing everything for what it is. You're being very emotionally balanced. You guys are guided by spirit, okay? Okay. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse just popped out. Someone here is mad. They could be gossiping, talking about you. We have the Sun here, and then we have the Hermit in the reverse. You're enlightened. You don't need anything. That, you, there's nothing for you to think about anymore, is what I'm getting here, Taurus, with this person. It could be a Virgo or a Leo. There's absolutely nothing that you should be thinking about when it comes to this person. You should be thinking about your life and how you want to invest in it. Because something has been revealed here. Like someone here snapped out of some sort of like... Someone here snapped out of some sort of like hermit mode. They're no longer... Like they don't they no longer have to look at themselves in the mirror. They no longer have to think anymore. They're out of it. Now they're the sun. They're stronger than before. Maybe you were like shunned or outcasted or something and you're you're no longer that anymore. Clarify the sun, please, for Taurus. The sun for Taurus. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're denying offers. Or the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're denying uncommittal offers. This person is still going to try to come back, though. Clarify this um, Seven of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Taurus? Yeah, the High Priestess. You know now you're following your intuition. There's also been a secret that came out. The secret came out as you were like... What's the phrase? You're going through everything with a fine tooth comb. And then your intuition just hit you. Your third eye came open like nobody's business. And now you know exactly what to do. You know exactly what to invest. When it comes to credit, you know what to do. When it comes to renting something, you know what to do. You have the nine of swords here. Some of you are stressed out. They don't want you to know something about some money or something like that. That's weird. Clarify the Nine of Swords, please, for Taurus. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Someone here doesn't want you to be stable. They don't want you to move on without them, that's why. But yeah, someone here is stressed out about that. They're really worried that you, that you just know everything. You know everything right now. You're in the energy where you just know everything. And this person is stressed out. They're like, how do I have a home with this person? Or how do I bring an offer to this person? We have the moon here. Something has been revealed. Something was hidden. And I feel like your intuition like sniffed it out. Then we have the six of pentacles here. The king of wands. It wanted to come in reverse. Then we have the hierophant in reverse. This King of Wands was giving to other people. Um, I feel like they lack, they lack something here. But deep down you knew that this King of Wands was probably giving to other people or making things unbalanced or just being a player. Like they weren't totally invested. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups here. And the reverse though, so you're no longer in the Five of Cups anymore. Or the five of pentacles anymore. They are. The way that they view marriage is wrong. Is also what I'm getting to. They could be very one-sided. But they're still going to strategically just try to come back. And offer you something. Because you're the wish fulfillment. It's like you're very different to them. And they didn't expect for you to be their soulmate. Or something like that. Now they're trying to figure out how to. 
come back, but the past was so bad that they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to come back yet. All right. Taurus. I feel like this per I feel like you're just going to leave this person alone. They're coming back with like the Knight of Swords. It's like they're really mad and they talk a lot of crap about you, so it's best to just leave them where they're at. We don't have time for that. All right, so we have the base chakra here in reverse with solitude. I feel like this person is not grounded. They're not secure. This person doesn't like being alone either. They're like very codependent. That's probably why they have a lot of people around them all the time. What else, please, for Taurus? Prosperity begins. Good news for you. Then we have mental conflict. Someone here is worried about your prosperity. Like someone here is worried about what you do. Yeah, we have heart chakra here. Awareness. You're aware of this person. You already know what the heck is going on. What else for Taurus? And they man and you know how to manifest. You know how to really manifest. Whatever you're doing with your life right now, yeah, they're what the heck? This person is like bothered by your spirituality. They're so bothered by that. They don't even know how to approach you. Let me get some more. Yeah, throat chakra in the reverse. They don't even know how to approach you or say anything. Shadow, deception, envy in reverse. And solar plexus. I feel like you're not arguing with this person either. I feel like you're you're using this as a way to work on your shadow self integrate it into your shadow work and it's like making you stronger and it's making them weaker so whoever this is for you this doesn't even have to be a love situation this could be work family anything like that because i feel like someone here is like really jealous of you or like trying to control things taurus it's like every time they do something you get stronger all right, what's the advice, please, for Taurus? Thank you. Nothing will come of this situation, all right? Uh, communication is key. It would be key if they would speak up and come to you correctly, but they probably won't. That's why you know that nothing will come of this situation, and you're just going to move forward. Yeah, so we have nothing yet is set in stone. So if you guys are in, like, this depressive state, you guys are definitely going to come out of that. What else for Taurus? Let me get one more. Please for Taurus. Let's get angels. Yep. So we have confidence is your key to success. They don't like your confidence. Uh, be bold to make the first move. So you guys are going to be like um, starting something new in your life. It could be like a new job or something. Um, it has a lot to do with your security, right? And your confidence. So I feel like when you let this person in your energy. Wow, a card just flipped over. Believe in the impossible, yeah. So when you let this person in your energy, they might try to uh, confuse you or make it seem like you're not doing enough. Like I said, critique critique your work. It's not going to work, all right? Because I feel like you, you're doing a lot of work on yourself and it's making you a lot stronger than you both thought, all right? So Taurus, that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.